It's Red and we are back today for some more of The Wolf Among Us. Uh, my makeup is a lot heavier than usual. I did try to cosplay Snow. I don't know if I did a good job. You guys can let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the get up. As I said, it's way more makeup than I usually wear. So it's very different, but I think I did okay. I think I did okay. Um... But we are going to continue from where we left off. Episode 3. A Crooked Mile. There she is. Fable Town Business Office. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but... Until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep straight um... on your heart. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. <laughs> so everyone's okay. And I'll try. Uh, eat more chicken. Me. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Mm, I'll try I'll to. I'll try. Yeah. All right then. Very good. What? H guys, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Why do the subtitles keep going off? Turn them on. Okay. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Resume game. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Doctor. Hmm. I'm happy that everyone survived, so, though. To recap, I'm happy with that. Crane watched me through the magic because it looks pretty bad. Cover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. And we right. Know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Not about right. Covers. And once he puts all the pieces back together. It'll be easy to catch Crane. So, so we can fix I it? Guess that's the plan. Currently. Okay. Uh I, I don't know. Any other leads, There's I guess? No other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. yeah. What the hell is going on? Just I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's I just, it's I'm incomprehensible sure. to me. I'm not I'm sure. As confused as you are, to be honest. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. He's he was a conniver, a a coward, a liar, and yep. I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate yep. him for how he held me in his thoughts. Yeah. Murdering prostitutes. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, it's a little White. too convenient. A of the glass. I think. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for um. tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. Ooh. Okay. I, I don't want to offend you. Let's keep this professional. <laughs> it's on my sure. mind. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, 
like like it did tonight. It feels mm -hmm. like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things what? go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish oh. the mirror. It's missing a piece. <gasps> what do you mean? Did he take a one? Piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's hmm. not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, That's I smart. I can't believe this. That's clever. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what yeah. it was until now. The mm. mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't What's depend on What's the hard on way? What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. Okay. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still well, solve yeah. this ourselves. Yeah, that's I true. Know that never mind that. Come help me look. Snow's on a mission. She is on a mission. She's pissed, I think. She really doesn't like Crane, obviously. Uh, not anymore. After what we found and showed her... Should we talk to Buffkin? Hi, Mr. Buffkin. Baby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Hmm. Why didn't you stop him? See an anything else? It's not your fault. Um, see you anything didn't else? didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Okay. Uh, Look, it's not your fault. The whole mirror thing? It's not your fault, alright? Y you mean it? Yeah. Yeah, we mean it. Okay. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Um. All right. So, where's Big B? There he is. Come on, Big B. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. I can't go this way, can I? No. Crane's desk. Let's examine it. Ichabod Crane. Where does he go? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, what do we have? A letter. Okay. Uh, Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, um, and I have to admit, I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. Okay. And this one? Dear Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. Um, I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross. Yeah, sounds gross. And I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan. In the meantime, sincerely, Boy Blue. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. 
It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention, you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together. Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when I was don't around. think so. Okay. A lot of angry letters. Understandably so. Clearly not doing his job. What's this on the left? Uh There we go. What is it? It's a room key. key. Room at the open arms. Mm. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. I think it's you don't want to you know. Don't, know. don't yeah. coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Okay. Um, is that it? Oh, the drawer. It's locked. The Office of Business Affairs? Official something something. Something something. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Oh, that's helpful. Is the mirror fixed yet? That's Will really helpful. This isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we yeah. know is that Crane's going yeah. to see a witch at two o'clock. Buffkin! A.M. or P.M.? A.M. <gasps> you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What, what do, do you, you know about Crane? About Crane, anyway. Mm. That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look. We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. Yes. And that yes. could be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few okay. shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Just point in the direction you want me to check first. 
Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going or to I could have done apartment. both. What? You can't mm. just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. Exactly. More messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's We've where got he's it, going. Bluebeard. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. <laughs> Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. <laughs> He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. <laughs> Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh, I don't know, Snow. I don't know. Uh, where should we go? Find the witch. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. So Dee's office, or Crane's apartment, or Holly's bar. I, uh, I really want to go with Crane's apartment, to be honest. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Mm. I'd love to join Should you, I? but there's some business I need to attend to. Oh, uh, guys, I don't know. But I kind of want to go to Holly's bar. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. <sighs> there has to be something in in the apartment, right? I feel like there I'd should be. I'd love to join you, but there's Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know okay. what you're doing. Me too. Um, because I have no idea. <laughs> It just seems more logical that there would be something, there would be some kind of clue in his apartment. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. On the other hand, I feel like he probably would have just like packed up his stuff and like would have made sure that it was clean and, you know, nothing left behind. But... I mean, he left the photos behind in the mo in the motel room, you know, so that wasn't very clever. Crane, so I'm hoping. Who said Crane lives in 1903? 1903, oh. My mistake. Why is the door open? Oh, maybe someone's already been in here. Crane? One hour and 55 minutes left? There's a timer? No way. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Right. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, I love it. Oh, the view. Oh. Oh my god. That's... Oh, I love it. Wine cabinet. 
I love it even more. Same brand we found in the open arms. Okay. And it's raining. And this? I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Yeah. But math, science, history. All the rest of it. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. Mm. Okay. <gasps> Do I have to be quick? Guys, I'm feeling like I'm starting to feel like I have to hurry up. You know, that I can't just take my time and just kind of hang out. Um, what's over here? Ooh, desk. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Wait. Ooh, ooh. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm watching you work. I'm unable to control myself. It's because I love you. <sighs> How sweet. Cash Crooked money. Man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Confiscate it. Definitely take the money. Are you kidding me? Forget Crane. Take the money. Oh, a key. Might be useful. Well, a key is a key is a key is a key. What's this? Teacher pouch. Okay. This hasn't been used in years. Ooh, a book. Merry Christmas, Mr. Crane. Thanks for all of your help this year. I used to teach in the old days. Oh. Okay, what's this? Answering machine. Crane. Look, the crooked man isn't happy, compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would be great. All right? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya! Okay. What's, what's over here? Nothing that I can see. Ooh, portrait. has to be something guys right the statue isn't really nothing to it it's a headless headless man on a horse on a horsey come on big B use your skills over here oh bust really 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 Ooh. key for the bedroom door possibly it works <gasps> grab him <gasps> Jack wow it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? Yeah. Only camp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain, Explain yourself now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a Really? Stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done, I don't see any. You're gonna plans. leave through the balcony. Hey! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. I don't like being lied to. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Spill the beans. 
I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? Mm. What else do you want me to say? Yes. I got Hopefully. bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. Mm. What do we think, guys? You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Investigating. Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I mean, what's the point? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Oh, really? If it's what do you mean? You want, I'm the guy to ask. What do you mean? You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathematician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How about we continue this talk in a jail cell? Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? Okay. Fine, you got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Mm -hmm. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. Okay. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's gotta be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I uh, don't know where you'd find her, exactly. Uh, you gotta oh, be really? fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. <sighs> All I right. guess. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Don't push your <sighs> luck, buddy. It was just <laughs> lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, uh. come on. <laughs> well done, Bigby. What's in here? Glamour tube. What? Oh My dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? <gasps> the witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You want to try that again? Try that again. There you go. Is that it? Pick me. Are you still here? Mm, we're done here. Fine by me. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's helping He's here me. To help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh. Mm. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabletown. 
Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think uh, this is course. tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no mm. idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to Check figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Um... I... Uh... Yeah. I'll go trip to the trap. trip trap. See about Lily's things. I trip think trap. that's our best option. Go to the trip trap. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let yeah. me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. 